I like to stay current. I think y'all like uh, to stay current. And if, if you uh, count on me for, for staying current, good for you. Um, and that's a shame at the same time. But anyway, uh, so the NFTs, everyone's talking about. Have you heard of NFTs? Anybody? OK, a couple of people, yes. And then other people, no. Um, and I'm not talking about the National Federation of Tree Frogs, if that's what you thought I was talking about. So uh, NFTs stands for non-fungible token. This term has been all over the news recently, but most people don't know what it is, including me. But that is not going to stop me from trying to explain it to you. <laughs> so hold on to your Zooms, because I'm about to put the fun in fungible. <laughs> I watched a YouTube video on NFTs. And uh, what I learned is that bounty paper towels are 92% more absorbent than other leading brands. That's what the ad before the thing said. And then that's, that's all I watched, because I got bored. Um, but I did read an article, and I'll try to explain it to you. So something non-fungible means it's unique and can't be replaced with anything else. Before NFTs, we only talked about things that were fungible, like, like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, which I believe makes uh, Superman weak. Uh, <laughs> Let's get back to the NFT. You down with NFT? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> NFT. Who's down with NFT? Um, NFT is anything digital, like drawings, music, tweets. The owners of these digital items have been selling them. For instance, someone bought this digital drawing of a cat. OK. Are y'all sitting down? Yes, you're all sitting down. It sold for $172,000, that drawing of that cat. And I know what you're thinking, that's insane. And you're right. But some things can't be understood, like math or science or how they make <laughs> different dots. If this is a self-portrait made by a cat, then I get it. It's, it's worth that much money. If a cat drew that and it looks just like that, if it didn't look like it, it's less money. But if the cat drew it and looks identical to that, that's 172000 I get it all day long. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering why someone would do that. And, uh, I mean, because you could just copy and paste it, right? Think of it like this. It's like art. Anyone can own a print of a painting, but only one person can own the original. For instance, here's, here's the very first tweet ever. It was posted by the CEO of Twitter, just setting up my Twitter. OK, someone paid $2.5 million for that, because it's the first tweet ever from the CEO of Twitter. Didn't even spell Twitter right. <laughs> so now someone owns that because they have a unique blockchain. A blockchain collects information together in groups, also known as blocks, that, and it, it, uh, it hold sets information. Are you with me? Because I'm not. I have lost <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a selfie, and I'm going to NFT it. I don't know if that's how you say it, but so. <laughs> All right. So, but here's what I'm going to do, because the cat seemed to be very popular. So I, I drew a picture of a cat here. <laughs> All right? So I am now. <laughs> I can't fit it in at the same time. All right, hold on. OK. There, I think. Wait, hold on. Oh, I think I got it. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to sell this. And once I figure out how to get the picture off my phone and onto my computer into a blockchain and a non-fungible token, shouldn't be any harder than trying to turn off my flashlight on my phone. <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to tweet out the information on how you can buy this NFT. And all the money will go to Jose Andres' charity, World Central Kitchen. All right?